Green screening is very helpful for adding set extensions and backgrounds to your film, as well as compositing elements together. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I do my green screen. For green screening, I use a program called After Effects, where I drag my footage into it and key out the background using an effect called Key Light. However, this is not the only program that can do this effect. Okay, so when you're filming, you want to try and keep the green screen as evenly lit as possible and then try to keep most of the objects in focus and this makes it a lot easier to key out the background. Also what you can do is try to pull the objects a bit forward um, so that you don't get as much reflection. Also you can angle your subject a little bit to stop the reflection as well because the reflection just causes problems in After Effects. Yeah, another setting that you should change on your camera is the color intensity and just make sure it's not too low so that the green is still easily distinguishable um, from all the other colors in the scene. Also if you're doing camera movements make sure that they are only linear like just going side to side or zooming in and out because if you use 3D um, like shots it will be very difficult to Put in the background in After Effects unless you have a, a 3D model or are good at making 3D environments, which I don't really know how to do. Also, you just want to double check that everything is in the green screen because rotoscoping is a complete pain and it'll save you a lot of time. Just a few moments of adjusting the green screen will save you lots of time in the post production. Okay, so now you want to open up a new project in After Effects and import your footage. File, where I keep the footage. Okay, then you want to create a, drag it into a new composition to just keep the settings. As you can see, I've got my short animation of this gun firing. So the next thing you want to do is rotoscope out all the parts where the green screen isn't there and also with the tank isn't moving. Okay, so just gonna quickly do that by grabbing the pen tool here and just rotoscoping out here where there's no green screen. I'm gonna composite these later so it doesn't matter if it's not too perfect. Then we can just feather this mask a little bit. Okay, there we go. So the next thing you want to do is create a new adjustment layer and the reason we're going to put the effect on top of the adjustment layer is because then we can easily mask out parts where if the key is going into the subject we can easily mask it out and stop the green screen from eating away at the subject there. So the effect you want to use is go to effect, then keying, and we can either use color key um, right here, or key light, and they both act a little bit differently. I prefer to use key light, yeah, um, so I'll go over in a second, but uh, let me just show you with the color key, uh, it does it with the, it removes the green by each pixel. So if there's a green pixel, it removes it. Um, and that's pretty good. And then you can feather it up a little bit. Uh, but then the way key light works, it uses the alpha channel. So if there's a little bit of green in the scene, it'll just reduce the opacity and remove the green from that color. So like here, if you remove that, you can see over here where it's a little bit grainy. That means that it's a little bit green, but it's not completely green. So here, the screen gain and the screen balance are the two main settings that you want to change to try and get it to be completely black, the background, or opaque. But as you can see here, the subject is a little bit opaque, a little bit transparent. So we're gonna decrease the screen gain and so that's fixed the screen balance yeah so then here under 
the view mode, you can change it to screen matte, which will create a black and white image. So wherever there's black, that means it's been keyed out, and wherever there's white, that means it's staying. So now under the screen matte effect right here, you can play around with these parameters to try and get it as good as possible. Like here, the screen is almost black. But here it's a bit grey, so we can try and fix that. Okay, and that already looks pretty good. And we go back to final results, and it's all keyed out. I'm just gonna scrub through the footage, make sure there's nothing, there's no big problems. Yeah, it's keyed out a little bit here, and now here comes in the why we use an adjustment layer, because over here, and here there's a little bit missing so now on the adjustment layer we can just go ahead and mask out where the green screen is and now it's leaving all the green in here now if we feather that up it looks much better than before so now we've just keyed out the green Okay, and also here we're gonna have to adjust this. There we go. And that already looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna fix up this mask here. Okay, and now if you go to quarter resolution and just RAM preview it, you can check to make sure there's no problems with the green screen. Okay, so if the, the subject looks a bit Odd. you can go like it looks a bit purple or something because you remove the green you can go into foreground color correction and this can help you change the saturation the contrast and the brightness um, which you can do but mine is fine so I'm just gonna leave it so that is pretty much all you need to know about chroma keying. And finally, if you want to add a background, I'm gonna fix this all later. But you can just go and uh, grab an image to put behind it. Now I'm gonna composite a bunch of these uh, all firing at the same time, which I'll do later. But I'll just show you with an image, uh, BG images. I just have a couple of them saved from past projects. So if we want to try to get a an image that matches the camera perspective background, then we scale it up here. Oh and another thing is that you will have to pre-compose the adjustment layer and the the foreground. And you can just get rid of that. Otherwise, the adjustment layer will start acting onto this layer. Yeah. Okay. Just need to make sure this here is not clipping so far. So now you can put it into your scene. Yeah. Very high quality image. Try to choose another one. Okay, and then you'd obviously have to fix up the ground here, but that looks pretty decent so far. Then you want to add color correction, which I usually use the curves filter effect. Okay, and you just want to try and match your scene. You can decrease the contrast a little bit. Try and get that just to smoothen it out. Then maybe in the red we can go up a little bit. You can also go to the color balance. Uh, color balance, and then you can adjust the midtones and the highlights and stuff. Yeah, and that, that's already looking pretty good. And then you just have to play around with these effects. And there, that's, there you have it, a uh, decent looking composition, we just mask this out here, 
and add a little feather to that. It's looking okay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you. And just remember all these tips and your green screening will be perfect. Goodbye.